What is up y'all? It's your girl Reese and welcome back to my space. We are on another Wednesday video. Two weeks in a row guys. And we're doing another haul. Is that going to become a thing? Wednesday hauls? I don't know if my bank account would love that. <laughs> anyway, so today, like I said, I'm going to be doing a haul. I've been doing a little bit of shopping for the spring summer seasons. Kind of residual sale shopping from the winter sale months and i thought i'd share with you guys because these are pieces that i believe will be in my wardrobe for a very very long time they're kind of forever pieces for me some are tried and tested some are doubles from things that i already have so yeah i thought i would share with you this is the pile of my latest and greatest <laughs> and we'll just hop right in so we'll start with this right here we'll start with rat and boa so rat and boa is one of my favorite brands to shop for holidays now, I'm not taking too many of my own holidays this year. I do have a lot of bachelorette weddings situations, but you know, you can always buy for the future. Rambo is a brand that I've loved for a really long time. I've been wearing them for the past maybe three, four years. I will say right before pandemic. So maybe from 2018 is when I bought my first Rat and Boa piece. And I've since fallen in love with the brand. The silhouettes are stunning. Like I said earlier, they are perfect for vacationing. So this is my first Rat and Boa bikini. Now I'm not gonna try it on for y'all and show y'all because we aren't there in our relationship yet for me to be on screen half naked in a bikini. <laughs> Just not yet. Also, this bikini body is under construction right now, so that's not happening but I'll show you guys what it looks like on the model on the website it's pretty fantastic this is the bottom and it's so cute what I love about this is the sash it's just the cutest very unique I haven't seen another bikini that's like this with the side sash normally it ties on both sides or it doesn't tie at all so I really wanted it the color is very questionable for me you know I'm not really a pink gal but orange me and orange are friends but lately as you guys have noticed i have started to like pink a little bit and it also has a lot to do with the fact that pink is very in so it's constant in my face on social media and stuff so i am warming up to pink and maybe you know in my older age we can let pink play maybe so this is the bikini bottom love it the sash is super long it's super cute this comes in separate, so I had to buy the two pieces separate from each other. And this is the bikini top. Nothing special about this. It's just like a triangle bikini top. No crazy sash. I wish they did have like the beautiful sash on the neck or the back piece, but beggars can't be choosers. I still think this is super adorable and I cannot wait to wear it. I am going to Vegas soon for a bachelorette with my girlfriends during pool party season. So hopefully this under construction bikini bod will be finished by then and I can proudly wear this cute bikini okay so I keep going with rat and boa I picked up two dresses as well so the first one show the top one I love 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 the rat and boa maxi dresses the first one that I bought from them was for our wedding reception I wore red because that's Viet culture you wear red the the groom wears blue it's just in our culture um and instead of wearing a traditional eye I, I wore a red dress and i bought one from rat and boa and it just i love it so much it just fit beautifully it snatched you at the right places and gave you a little bit of curve the rat and boa dresses are so feminine and super super like romantic looking so i have since fallen in love with that one and then this white beauty number like look at the pattern can you guys see that that's just so pretty you know it's not just a plain white dress it does have the crisscross in the back so it's a little bit different from the one that i had before that i picture here but i thought it was just beautiful this was bought for future like i said vacation outfits i have no vacations just me and daryl planned this year because we do have a lot of weddings and stuff but our five-year wedding anniversary is next january so we're hoping to get away to somewhere tropical and then maybe i can rock the white because it's a wedding anniversary right right all right up next is this beautiful number i think i'm going to wear this in vegas like this is so so good i do have a couple of minis by rat and boa and i just love 
thicker shape the fabric the fabric looks super luxurious it's like you know that with that silky satin finish and i wear it with the deep v because you know your girl doesn't have a lot going on up here so i can wear super super open itty bitty titty committee happening here so this dress actually is the second one of the exact same dress but in a different color that i bought i don't know what to say about rat and boa sizing so the sizing from rat and boa if you guys don't know is really off so i am normally a size small in dresses like if i wanted to fit my body i will wear a small if it's an oversized look i'll go for a medium but for rat and boa dresses even if you go into like the size predictor and stuff and you put your information in they tell you to size up for some reason so i bought this dress in a another green color i'll show you guys a picture of it or i'll put it up on the screen and i bought it in a small because the website said get a small on it. it's been a while since i bought from rat and boa and you know the quarantine weight that i put on so i was like ah, okay let's listen i bought a small all the other stuff i bought was extra small and i had to get it taken in on top of the really small size so i bought the small and though you know it's not something that i couldn't get away with you know my tailor did take take it in in certain places like he still needs to take it in under the arm but he snatched my waist a little bit uh i definitely could have gone with the extra small so i bought this one in extra small and it's a different green color too i like them both i'm, I'm really trying to find something to wear with these shoes that I have up here. These Versace shoes, this doesn't quite go. Ah, you know, I might be able to get away with it. Oh yeah. Okay, okay, perfect. So the other green didn't match with these and I really wanna wear this piece of art. It is art. So I bought this in an extra small because I am a fan of the dress. Y'all know when I like something, I buy it in multiple colors. So that's it for Rat and Boa. Okay, moving on to my one Skims piece. I'm very, very annoying. And you would think that I'm getting paid for this, but I'm not. <laughs> but I bought another Skims bodysuit, the same one. This is my fourth one now. I have like the bluish gray color, the burnt orange color, a black, and now a brown. This is just my favorite bodysuit. It is better than the Aritzia one. I love the thin straps. It really like sucks you in. This is an extra small and it's like, it keeps me in there. And it has a nice dip scoop back situation i just like the brown the browns are in right now and it was on sale on essence i think i got this for like 57 dollars. so i was like why not why not and i know i'll wear it i know for sure i'll wear it because i wear all the other ones up next we'll do this okay so essentials by fear of god if you guys didn't know i really love essential sweatsuits they're just fantastic quality they're super thick very warm and they like when you wash them they hold shape you know sometimes after you wash a sweatsuit really anything it kind of loses the luster it looks like crap afterwards this is not the case with the essential stuff so i have since collected a lot of them also because daryl is huge my husband's huge he's six foot seven and buying sweatpants for him is like mostly misses so the essential sweatpants really do fit his tall height. So if you do have a very tall partner and they need sweatpants that fit their length, I highly suggest the essentials ones. So I've collected quite a few. They're my go-to for travel days. I love traveling in the essential sweatsuits during the winter months, fall months. That's all I was wearing, truly, truly. So I bought this long sleeve shirt. I have sweats that are like a similar color I'll show you so these sweats I bought I don't know last year or the year before every time essentials has a drop they sell out really quickly so you can't always get a matching set so I bought these sweats and I didn't get a top but I have like a kith bodysuit that I wear with it and another tank top I wear with it a skims tank top that I wear with it but I wanted to get something matching so every time they do a drop they come out with stuff that are like almost the same but not quite the same but I don't care I don't really feel like I always have to match perfectly so like I don't know if you guys can see here but the sweatpants are a little bit more warm where the shirt is a little more like cool gray but I'm gonna still wear it together and I don't care basically yeah yeah if you haven't tried out essentials highly highly suggest them 
Jerry Lorenzo, the designer, super cool. His style like very, very like cool street style too. And uh, lots of inspo from his page and the people who wear his stuff and, and his stuff is really, really good. I do have my eyes on a new release of his that just dropped this week, I believe. But um, the pants, I don't think dropped the ones that I want. So maybe that'll be another purchase for another Wednesday haul. All right, oh, we're getting to the end of the clothes. Up next, up next. So y'all should know by now that I'm a huge Jacquemus fan, like huge. And like huge before he was huge. I've been wearing, like I have Jacquemus, Jacquemus pieces from his 2016, 2017 collection before he was like huge and the Chiquito bag was everywhere. Yeah, a big, big fan of his. So every season I try to buy because love his stuff and super supported too. And so I picked up a couple of cuties. So this little bralette here and the matching short. Cute, right? I just think this is like perfect for spring. I'm gonna wear it with blazer, like a big oversized blazer to be a look, you know, a look. Or I know this bralette, I'm gonna get so much wear out of this. This actually looks fantastic under the Jacquemus top. I don't know, I don't remember what it's called. La Bahia, maybe? Maybe the one that goes like all the way down and has a little tie here. This is fantastic underneath it if you're not trying to free the nip or not wear a shirt underneath and have the deep V. It's amazing underneath it. So yeah, I bit the bullet and bought it. It's just great, great quality. It's like that knit material and it's so cute. So cute. I just feel like I'm gonna get so much wear out of both pieces. This with a big t-shirt, this with a hoodie, this, they're gonna be forever. These, Jacques Mousse pieces, like I said, I am normally a size small, but I went with a medium because I do find the Jacques Mousse runs quite small. So, medium, medium. All right, onto the shoes. Y'all know I'm a big shoe girl. <laughs> I'll love some shoes. So first and foremost, if you guys watched my luxury wish list video, I talked about these. This is, this is the third thing that I've gotten off my luxury wish list. That's a lot of shopping in a short amount of time. Anyways, I had to get them. I had to get them. They're just so cool. I've heard everybody say they're super comfortable. I haven't worn them though because it's snowing in Toronto still. Why? Who knows? Who knows? But as soon as it gets warm and dry, I'm going to be wearing these outside. So they're literally the rubber <laughs> slides, mules. I don't know. What would you call them? I don't know, but I just feel like super simple, easy slide on shoe, super cool with like sweatpants when you're trying to like upstyle sweatpants and not just be super boring, but also if you're wearing a plain sweatsuit, this is the one if you don't wear a sneaker and I'm not a huge sneaker gal, so this is gonna be for me. What color is this? There was four colors. I bought two, but I returned the one that was like warmer like a beige color and this one is cement so this is more cool gray tones to it but I really like these I want to get one for Daryl he's so against it but we're doing a shoot together soon and I'm buying them to style a fit for him and hopefully he loves it and keeps it fingers crossed but yeah so excited about these shoes you guys are gonna see it on my Instagram Instagram and last but certainly not least a new pair of shoes for the shoe wall. This, unfortunately, the Fear of God ones will not go on the shoe wall because I'll be wearing them a lot. But this, this is going on the shoe wall. I love, I love, I love, I love, I love. All right, so I've seen these on Instagram, on a bunch of influencers in the platform version. I've never seen the non-platform version. I've even seen them in store in the platform. Um, but I had never seen them without. Are you guys ready? These are the most romantic, beautiful shoes I own, I think. I mean, oh my gosh, I hope they focus. If not, I'll do B-roll, overlay B-roll, because aren't they just absolutely stunning? So I went to the store, I don't know, a couple weeks ago, and I saw them in black too, but then I saw them in this green and I was like, oh my God, girl. <laughs> you need these first of all green is my favorite color if you guys didn't already know I love green 
I just be buying random green things and hope that I can style them. These will literally go with everything black or plain. I'm a big t-shirt and jeans gal and I, I like to jazz up my looks with shoes. So I mean, you guys are gonna be seeing this a lot in the summer if we can get on some patios. Girl, oh my God, aren't they so good? They're so, so good. I die, I die, I die. They're not very comfortable based on the three hours I wore them around my house. Obsessed, I have a ritual when I buy new shoes. I'm wearing them around the crib all day. Just love, 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 love. Though my toes are in no condition to be wearing. It was rude of me to put these unpedicured feet into these beautiful shoes, but we move because it's too cold to be getting a pedicure just yet, you know? It's not the season yet. But yeah, they're so good. I can't wait to put them on the wall. This, it's been a while, you know, it's been like two weeks. They've been sitting in the boxes. I wanted to do a proper unboxing and not have them up on my wall when I'm filming. But now you guys will go on the wall. So beautiful, so beautiful. Anyways, that's it for me. I hope you guys enjoyed the haul. Let me know in the comments below what your favorite piece was for my little shopping haul and I will see you next video.